everybody, this is Hobbit Fan. We are here with uh, Metroid Zero Mission, an LP that we are. We hope that you'll all enjoy. Oh, she's crashing! Look at all that pixelated goodness. I can beat the mechanical life form, mother thing. And there's my brain right there. No, okay. <laughs> I love that. It's a good one. But anyway, um, so we got all that pixelated goodness there. We see some stars, shooting stars. But those are actually important. The shooting stars are very important, and at the very end of the game, you'll all see why. And it's actually kind of cool how in the game they do tie a lot of the stuff in the beginning to the stuff in the end. That's a staple in the Metroid series. Samus' ship is landing. She records a little journal here. Very cool. I like some of her journals throughout the series. What do you think of them? They're boring. Okay, thank you. Um, <laughs> there you go, man. A few words right here. Um. So we go left, as so we can find the very first power-up ever added to the Metroid games. The Mahi Mahi or the Morph Ball, for those English speakers. <clears throat> I apologize for that. Um, very first power-up, very important if you are, well, if you want to complete the game or get out of here. <laughs> then you need it. Um, it's also very good for speedrunners or people that like to play like me, using stealth. But that's more of in the 3D games, which doesn't really apply here. World's different, but in the end, they got the same stuff that really makes the Metroid series so successful. And, um, that's about it. Um, we're, we're gonna approach a Chozo statue that wasn't in the original game. This is a remake of the original. Um, this thing will give you the, uh, map. Basically, um, telling you where you need to go next. It helped me out, because, yeah, it really tells you where to go. And, you know, screensaver kicked in, that's not good. Um, so we're gonna, going up. Going right is just a save station, we don't need it, really, all that much. Uh, these things are invincible, unless you get a power-up a little later. It doesn't destroy them, but it does tame the beasts. The savage beasts. Um, Bug thing. I don't even know what the thing is. This is nasty. <clears throat> right here is a. It, these are blocks that you can shoot, and you can't get it without the long beam that's gonna come up here. To be honest, we all knew that was coming. Or, if you don't wanna bother, you can just go through there, as has been demonstrated. Has also been demonstrated the di diagonal shot, which is awesome. Along with being able to crouch and shoot, which is really awesome. They hit those little, I can't remember what they're called, buzzer enemies, I think. Um, and they're, they're so useful. Look at that. You can actually shoot at those birds that you couldn't in the original. It just made me so mad in the original. It's like, why can't you crouch and shoot the thing? But, uh, yeah. complaints for another day, I suppose. And you shoot that, you get the long beam. <clears throat> Any thoughts about the long beam? About it. It's long. Okay. <laughs> um, yes, it's long. And it's pretty weak. Yes, but that's interesting that you say that because um despite still being associated with the weakest um shot in the game, it adds a small bit of power. Not much to be noticed. And almost non existent, but it is there. And what's and the point of it? Well, for bosses, they might take down, take it down by a shot, maybe. I don't know. <clears throat> and, but it's also there to add a little bit of realism that Nintendo games so often lack. Um, <clears throat> the, uh, well, because in basic physics, something that require something that goes farther, if it has the same amount of mass, means it requires more energy and will have more energy upon impact. That's basic physics, so I guess they added that just for that effect. It's pretty worthless, you're right, I'll be honest. And the normal enemies, you know, still takes the same amount of shots. Gray door right there! These things are annoying, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, these gray doors, whatever, these gray doors, um, they, they're pretty annoying if you don't know what to do in that room, but once you figure out what you gotta do, and they, they'll flash. Once they flash, you can shoot it, go in and continue your 
maniac shooting, I guess. I don't know. That's the way I put it. Pretty much unlimited ammo, so hey, you can go ape if you want. I don't think there are any apes in the game. No, I don't, I don't judge. There's no apes in the game. Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't know what you consider a certain boss in the future. It looks like an ape. But, yeah. Going through a door here. Uh, stupid little bug there. I died to that thing a few times. No big deal. The only person ever died to, die to a bug in a Metroid game. Good accomplishment. Um, notice an earthquake here. Um, in the future, in the very near future, once you pick up this missile expansion, you're going to see a little boss here. A very annoying boss, and you'll see why. He's not hard or anything. I highly doubt he'll kill you unless you're on super... Unless you have very low life. Which, our life is okay, I guess. 69 life. No, no not 69 life. Okay. 69 energy. Now he opens his eye. You have to shoot him in the eye. I don't know what it is when you play games and shooting things in the eye. I mean, I don't... Oh, wow. Okay. We, we've been trying this before a few times. And always the, the boss went away. Okay, yes, charge. Way to go. Bravo! Okay, so... That boss, if you don't defeat it quick enough, may go away. And if it goes away, please don't panic. Because you'll get to see this fine little fellow a little bit later. And yes, you got the charge beam. I like the charge beam. Pretty cool. Very useful for defeating bosses and enemies if you don't have missiles. So... Let me jump up here. Now that we have five missiles, um... You see a red door? It takes five. Oh no, it takes one. I'm thinking, am I thinking of the original Metroid or Super Metroid? I think I'm thinking of Super Metroid, in which case, yes, it's a take five. Kind of a annoying, but... Um, so we're going to cut off the video here. Um, so thank you for watching, and we'll have part two up as soon as we can. Thank you so much.